Okay, so let's get cracking. I'm going to navigate back. For now, I have this display value. I still know that I'm going to use the button, so I'll just remove the reference as well as display value. The prop is also not going to be here. I don't need these values. And let's first come up with the function. So const get book then it's going to be looking for the ID. And as far as the logic, I want to find a book. So I'm going to go with const book is equal to books dot find. So I'll use the find method. And in here we pass in the callback function. And we need to come up with the parameter. In my case, I'm going to go with book. And I want to search in the array for the book whose ID matches this one. How can we do that? Well, we can go with book.id is equal to the ID that we're passing in. And then, like I said, we're not going to be controlling anything what we can see on a screen, but we do want to log the book. Again, I'm going to get this error. And you know what? It's probably annoying to some people. So I'll just remove it and I'll set it up from the scratch. So let's save it. Yep, everything works. All that is nice. Now we need to pass it down. Okay. Same deal, we'll just go with get book is equal to our function get book. Awesome. Then this time, let's log it just so we can definitely see that it's there. So both of them get this function get book. All right, awesome. So let's grab it get book. Let's comment this one out for now. We already have the button. So we simply want to go with on click. And here comes the gotcha. So how are we going to invoke it? I mean, you can try to do this way. So get book here as a reference, click me undefined. Why it's undefined? Well, because it's looking for ID. Right? Okay, let's pass in the ID. Let's go here with get book, let's invoke it. And let's pass it in. So technically, what's missing here is the ID. All right, so I know it's there. I know it's in the props object. So let me just grab it. But now I have a different issue. So I have the logs. All this is nice. But it's not happening on a button click. Essentially, it happens when the application loads. Why? Because we have parentheses here. And in JavaScript, essentially, if we have a logic like this, where we have a function, and then we invoke it, what happens? Well, we run the logic, right? So it's the same thing if I would go over here and if I would say, I don't know, two, for example, right? So in here, I'll pass in some kind of ID. I will get that book. So this is correct, but we need to keep in mind that this runs instantly. And the same thing happens over here. We're not running this when we invoke. This is not a reference anymore. And the reason why I'm being so annoying and I keep repeating this, because again, later in the course, as our applications get more complex, this seems to be tripping a lot of people up. Yes, in JavaScript, once we set up the function, if we don't have it as a reference, if we have parentheses, we'll invoke it right away. And that's not what we want to do in this case. In this case, we don't want to do that. So in the following video, I'll show you two possible solutions.